Now, Manu Bhakar's hunt for an elusive third medal at the Paris Olympics 2024 will take the center stage today as the Indian shooter stands on the cusp of creating history. India's ace shooter Manu Bhakar created history in Paris Olympics when she became the first female from the sport in the country to win a medal. She did so in the women's individual 10-meter air pistol final, clinching a bronze medal. Manu Bhakar's hunt for an elusive third medal at Paris Olympics 2024 is all set to take center stage today. Manu Bhakar is on the cusp of creating history. Now, India's ace shooter created history at the Paris Olympics. She became the first female from the sport in the country to win a medal. She did so in the women's individual 10-meter air pistol final, where she clinched the bronze medal. My colleague Shreya is now joining me. She is in Faridabad at Manu Bhakar's home. Shreya, you know, I'm sure the entire family was, uh, you know, would be waiting with, uh, you know, holding their breaths, making sure that they capture the moment because we've seen whenever these athletes are abroad and in a game like Olympics, you know, it's the family members who are praying the hardest. Well, absolutely so, Aishwarya. You know, this is a big day for Manu Bhakar and uh, her family members, all the more so because she's on the cusp of winning the third medal in the Olympics. It, uh, the match is all slated to begin somewhere around 1 p.m. This is the 25 mm uh, pistol uh, match where she will be playing today. Now, we are at her residence. However, the family members clearly appear to be a little superstitious, which happens in such cases, and they will obviously be reacting only after the entire match is over. But we will keep our viewers posted because it's a big day for the country as Manu Bhakar uh, will be out there, uh, uh, I mean, making the country proud. She's already made it proud, but uh, definitely everyone will be watching this match with bated breath. Right, Shreya, you know, you also spoke about the fact that the family members at the moment are a little superstitious. So, you know, what do you think that the family members are hoping for, uh, you know, especially the father and the mother, because they are the ones who have seen her struggling days. They are the ones who know how hard she has worked and they are the ones who know how happy she will be if she becomes, uh, you know, if she gets that third medal, because she's already created history. But, you know, to get the third medal is something that will really make sure that her words are written, uh, you know, in Indian history, in Indian sports, because that's something that has never happened before. Well, you know, Ashwari, anyone who goes to the Olympics, we've spoken with several athletes so many times, they always want to bite the gold. And that's precisely why we can understand uh, the kind of sentiments that are running in the family. Also, they've seen her grow through her pace. Uh, uh, she's, uh, I mean, become one uh, of uh, those who will now be representing the country. She's one of the first females to actually win uh, in this particular category. So we will be waiting for the first reactions that will be coming in from the family members, her support system, her friends, and all. Also, I mean, her coach uh, uh, particularly. So all these people, we will be getting to speak with them. Right. But as of now, they are only just praying and waiting for the match to begin. So once uh, that ends, we will get a little bit more clarity and we will ensure we get the first reaction from the family members. Shreya, stay on with me. Nitin is also joining me on the story. Nitin, we have, how, we have seen how all these athletes have worked so, so hard, you know, uh, most of them eyeing those medals. And now we are seeing how ready... Manu Bhakar at the moment seems like it seems like there is a high possibility that we will get the third medal home this time. Well, certainly. And that is why, you know, Manu is expected to uh, do some wonders again today. See, Manu uh, in this Paris Olympics have done terrific, you know, uh, her original event is 25 meter. And uh, we all know that she, you know, got the very first medal on the second day of Paris Olympics when she got the bronze. And uh, right after second day, she got a mixed team, you know, uh, event bronze medal with Sarab Jol. So now the, this one, the Maru's original event and the way she, uh, you know, entered in the qualification round, especially in the finals, she finished second. So she is in form. She is very, you know, focused and she is very dedicated. She is a passionate shooter. I have seen Manu for a very long time, you know, in 2016 when she got the very first gold medal of junior world championship. And from then, you know, uh, her journey begins actually, but uh, you know, uh, in Tokyo there was some you know uh, disappointments for Manu when uh, the issue of pistol uh, you know uh, originated there. But uh, Manu kept her you know thoughts high, kept her morale high, 
and she got in touch with Jaspal Rana again. That let's why not we should try again and see Manu here is you know uh, about to create history uh, when she'll be you know first ever athlete will be getting third medal at the same uh, Olympics in the same tournament. So today is a very big day not just for the Manu but also for the India especially for the shooters. Thank you, Arya.